We addressed the problem of effectively composing skills to solve real-world sparse reward tasks via reinforcement learning. Our approach learns policies for bimanual manipulation tasks as shown from raw RGB image observations. Consider the task of lifting this bar using two hands, given a set of generic parametrized skills such as reaching, grasping, and lifting. Without even knowing the geometry or pose of the bar, one can answer that this task will involve grasping at either end of the bar, then lifting both ends up simultaneously. Our insight is that for many tasks, the learning process can be decomposed into learning such a state-independent task schema, a sequence of skills to execute, as shown in red, and a policy to infer the parametrizations of these skills, given the current state, as denoted by phi. Note that the same schema would be applicable across different instantiations of the same task. This modularity allows us to transfer schemas to solve related tasks, and simply relearn the parametrizations with which the skills are invoked. This enables us to learn to solve sparse reward tasks on real-world robotic systems from raw camera images very efficiently. Our approach is to have a state-conditioned neural network policy that only predicts a distribution over the continuous arguments, and to separately maintain a state-independent array of logits over which skill to use at each time step. We compare to a baseline that does not have this modularity. We find that this approach yields improvements in sample efficiency across bimanual manipulation tasks in simulation. Then, we transfer the learned skill sequences to nine real-world bimanual manipulation tasks, given raw camera images as states. All these tasks are designed to require two arms. Here, we show videos of attempting to solve the tasks with just a single arm, which is impossible by design. To predict continuous arguments given an image input, we use a fully convolutional spatial model as our neural network architecture. For all real-world tasks, the system learns a policy from raw images taken by an overhead camera in roughly 4 to 10 hours of training. The remainder of this video shows examples of the learned behavior. The AR tags are only used for automating the reward computation. Our model is not given any object pose information. The two videos side by side show the tasks being completed from two different object starting poses, highlighting the robustness of our learned policies. Finally, we show some videos of executing the learned policies without the AR tags, which succeeds for the larger objects but not the smaller ones. These successes suggest that we could train all our models well without AR tags, but one would have to be willing to manually label rewards during training.